everyone! Hello world! Mabuhay buhol! Welcome and welcome back to Jessa Mikaga's Vlog 101! For today's video guys, I will be doing teaching demonstration based on the lesson plan that I made and the previous performance task that uh, we are assigned to us and I would like to say sorry again. It's because ganito talaga dito ang ingay. So my lesson plan is about um, grade TLA, grade 10, about automotive servicing. And so yeah, if you want to read and to know my lesson plan, what is about, um, it, I will post the lesson plan on my Facebook page and just visit the link on the description below. I will put that description, the link on my description below. So yeah, I will be starting now and. Good morning, class! Take your seat. So, let us check the attendance first. Who's absent? Okay. Class, in, in our topic today, you need to participate in every discussion. Just raise your hand if you ask something. Um, okay. Who among you could remember our lesson last meeting? Yes, Miss Cruz. Okay, very good. So, class, if you give me the correct answer for my question, I will give a buff point to you. So, my question is, what is the importance of automotive tools? Yes, Jose. Um, very good. So, class, uh, proceed. Before we proceed to our topic today, and our topic today is shop hand tools in automotive. Um, we have um, of course, we have objectives, and there are four objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to. Everyone is to define and describe the four types of basic hand tools used in automotive. Number two is identify the purpose and operation of hand tools in automotive. And number three is value the importance of shop hand tools in the automotive. And number number four is um, you can show how to use the tools correctly and smoothly. Let's proceed to our topic. Who among you can give me an example of automotive tools? Anyone? Yes, Mr. Reyes. Okay, good. Yes, we have our four types of basic hand tools. The turning tools, the striking, gripping tools, and cutting tools. And if you... I. I have here some example a video clip to show to you what are the basic hand tools of automotive so everyone must watch because I have some quiz after this automotive service work requires a great variety of tools proper tools must use properly that enable us to do a job with safety speed and efficiency there are four types of basic hand tools, striking, turning, gripping and cutting tools. Striking tools, hammer, a hand tool used for striking, ball peen hammer, a ball peen or ball peen hammer, also known as a machinist's hammer, is a type of peening hammer used in metalworking. It has two heads, one flat and the other, called the peen, rounded, rawhide, plastic, brass, rubber, hammers, to strike easily marred surfaces. 
Turning tools, screwdrivers. Screwdrivers are made in a variety of sizes, shapes, and special purpose designs. The most common type has a single flat blade for driving screws with slotted heads, Torex head, and Phillips head. Screwdrivers. Always select a screwdriver of the proper type and size for the job when using a single blade screwdriver. The blade should completely fill the screw slit. This helps prevent damage to the screw head. Wrenches. A wrenches is a long handle tool with fixed or adjustable jaws. You use a wrench to turn bolts, nuts, and screws. There are different types of wrenches. Open end wrench. The open end wrench usually has the jaw opening at 15 degree angle to the handle. An open end wrench has a different size on each end. Make sure the wrench fits snugly against the flats. These are the sides of a nut or bolt. Box wrench. The box wrench opening surrounds or boxes in the nut or bolt head. The advantage is that the box will seldom slip off. The most common box wrench had 12 notches or points in the head. The box wrench has different size openings on each end. Combination wrench. The combination wrench has a box on one end and an open end on the other. The two ends are usually the same size. Flare nut wrench. A flare nut wrench is a special type of combination or box and wrench. It is used to attach or loosen a flare nut or tubing nut. The ends of the flare nut wrench are thicker than on other wrenches. This helps prevent slipping and rounding off the points on soft metal tube fittings. Adjustable wrench. An adjustable wrench has a movable jaw that you adjust to fit nuts and bolts heads of various sizes. Adjustable wrenches are normally used only when applying relatively light torque. Socket wrench. Socket wrenches are the most widely used tools in the shop. They are like box wrenches except that the head or socket is detachable from the handle. You assemble the socket wrench you need from the socket set in your toolbox. Torque wrench. A torque wrench is basically a special handle for a socket. An indicator on the torque wrench measures the torque or twisting force. To use the torque wrench, attach the proper socket. Place the socket on the nut or bolt head. Then pull on the wrench handle. When the torque wrench indicates the specified torque, the bolt or nut is properly tightened. Gripping tools. Examples are pliers. Pliers are hand tools with a pair of adjustable pivoted jaws for cutting or gripping. There are many and sizes of pliers. Combination slip joint pliers may have cutting edges at the back of the jaws for wire cutting. Tongue and groove pliers, such as channel pliers have the tongues or lands on one jaw. Locking pliers such as vice grip pliers have locking jaws. This makes them useful as pliers, wrenches, clamps, and small vices. Pullers. Pullers remove parts assembled with an interference fit. This includes removing gears and hubs from shafts and pushings from blind holes. Cutting tools. Cutting tools remove metal. They include chisels, hacksaw, files, punches, chisel. The chisel is a cutting tool with a single cutting edge. There are various sizes and shapes of chisels. Hacksaw. A hacksaw is basically an adjustable metal frame that holds a steel saw blade. Files. Files are used for cutting and shaping metal. They have many cutting edges or teeth. Punches. Punches are used to knock out rivets and pins. They also line parts for assembly. To remove a rivet, grind off the rivet head, or cut it off with the chisel. Then use the starting punch and pin punch. So those are the four different types of shop hand tools in automotive. Striking, turning, gripping, and cutting tools. Yes, in generalization, automotive service work requires a very great variety of tools, no? As the as it is shown in the video clip that there are so many best basic tools and it is really useful. It's because the proper tools must properly use for us and able to do a job with safety and of course is speed and efficiency of the work so okay class um i think everyone is really understand the video clip it's because it's just a simple meaning and their um simple uses okay class we will be having a short quiz get one for sheet of paper and answer the following questions Okay, so before we end our lesson for today and our class today, um, I have an assignment before we will 
we will end our lesson. So please advance study for our next topic. It is all about automotive engine. So be ready for the next meeting. So that's all for today. Um, thank you everyone. I hope you really understand. You really understand the lesson. And so everybody stand for a closing prayer. Father, we sign the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, goodbye class. Bye. God bless and keep safe everyone. Hi guys, I'm back. So that's all for today and it was just a short teaching demonstration because I was based on my I was basing on my lesson plan that I made. Um it was uh, a student and teachers activities. So I have my topic that automotive. Uh, I, I have my subject automotive automotive and uh, the topic is about the shop hand tools so um, that's all for today and I hope you enjoy watching and you learn something from me um, I hope so and just like this video share comment down below for shout out and for today's shout out shout out to John Paul Acebo yes and Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates on my next video. Bye guys, see you on my next vlog.